Now in this lecture we will discuss about moment of inertia of a rod inclined at angle to the vertical. Now let us say we have a rod this rod is rotating about this axis and the angle made by this rod to the vertical is alpha. Let us say m is the mass of rod l is the length of rod and alpha is the angle that rod makes with the axis. In this case axis is vertical. We have to calculate moment of inertia. Let us call this axis is OO dash. So we have to calculate moment of inertia about OO dash. Now definition for moment of inertia is R square dm integral and this r is perpendicular distance from axis to dm. From axis to elemental mass dm. Now let us consider a elemental mass air and this is at a distance of x from this central point. So this is center of mass of this rod. And this elemental section has a length of dx. We can also calculate linear density of rod. So linear mass density of rod lambda this is equals to mass by length mass is m and length is l so lambda we have that is m by l so mass of dx part that is mass of dx part of rod let us call this is dm this is equals to linear mass density and to length. So dm is equals to lambda times dx. Now we have to calculate perpendicular distance of this elemental section from the axis of rotation. So in this triangle we can write, so we need this distance. If we write cos alpha, so this is this length perpendicular length let us call this length is r a small r so this length we have r so r divided by basically this is sin alpha so this is sin alpha so we can write sin alpha is equals to r divided by x. So from here r is equals to x sin alpha. Now we can put this result i is equals to r square dm integral r is x sin alpha and dm is lambda times dx. So this becomes x square sin square alpha lambda dx. Lambda is a constant. We can take this outside. Sin square alpha is also constant. So we can take sin square alpha also outside.
x square dx. Now we have to integrate from this end of rod is minus L by 2 because this is origin. So this is minus L by 2 and this is plus L by 2. So we have to integrate from minus L by 2 to plus L by 2. So this is lambda is mass by length into sine square alpha L q by 24 minus of minus L q by 24. So this is m by L sine square alpha L square divided by 12 into L. L q I can write L square into L. This L, this L cancels. So we will have moment of inertia about O O dash is equals to M L square by 12 sine square alpha. Now we can discuss different cases when alpha is 90 degree. This means this is the axis and now this is the rod alpha is 90 degree in this case we know moment of inertia of rod about center of mass perpendicular to the direction of rod or plane of rod this is ml square by 12 so if I put sin theta is equals to 1 here sin alpha is 90 degree so we have I O dash is equals to ml square by 12 and sin 90 degrees 1. So this is simply ml square by 12. So this is a verification of the same result. So we can say our result is true. We can verify this result using this uh, standard result. one a special case when alpha is 45 degree in that case we will have i o o dash is equals to m l square by 12 sin 45 so this is 1 by 2 so m l square by 24 So in this case I O dash is M L square by 24. That is basically half of the if I have rod that is rotating about this axis we have M L square by 12 and if I have rod if this rod is rotating about 45 degree angle so if this makes an angle of 45 degree this term this will be half of perpendicular so this term this is perpendicular this term making 45 so we will have ml square by 24 now in this case what kind of motion rod will have so if you see each point of rod will form a circle So this point is moving in this circle and this point is moving in this circle. This point is rest. This point is making a smaller circle. This point is also making a smaller circle and this point is at rest. So this one is the rod all points of rod are moving in a circle so point of rod are moving in a circle 